You all saw my ChatGPT guide and my content creation automation guide. There's a one key thing that keeps popping up in the comments like, how do you record your screen? Screen recording is the backbone of any of my tutorials. And today I'm spilling the beans on exactly how I do it. I will break it down into two methods, the simple way, of course, the convenient way. So my go-to quick and easy method is the built-in screen recording. If you're on a Mac, you've already got this. It's right in the QuickTime player. Here's how it goes down. I open Open up QuickTime Player, then head up to File in the menu bar and click on New Screen Recording. That's it, you're halfway there. As soon as I do this, a capture frame shows up, letting me adjust the area to record. I can size it, move it, whatever I need. Down at the bottom, I will see a few more options like showing mouse clicks or capturing audio from my mic. Pretty handy, right? But wait, don't get too excited just yet. QuickTime's built-in toll has some pretty annoying issues that you might wanna know before you dive in. First up, the audio you record is stuck in there. Editing it later is a bit of a hassle. Second, it doesn't capture system audio, so if you're trying to make tutorials that need to record your computer sounds, well, you're out of luck. QuickTime and macOS makes this pretty frustrating to work around. And last, the files are huge. Apple keeps the quality high, but man, the file sizes are heavy. So yeah, it's usable, but it's far from perfect. These are exactly the reasons why I ditched QuickTime and switched over to Wondershare Demo Creator. It's just as easy to use, but with way more features that make my life so much easier. Recording with Demo Creator is still a breeze. I just hit new recording, select my screen area, Area and then tweak the settings. Only now I've got a ton more options to work with. Like I can enable my mic, add my camera feed, set a specific resolution. You get the idea. And here's where Demo Creator really pulls ahead. It's got multiple recording modes. I'm talking screen recording, screen and camera recording, camera only recording, game recording, virtual avatar mode, and even video presentation mode. So whatever kind of content you're looking to make, whether it's a tutorial, a game, game walkthrough or a presentation, Demo Creators got you covered. The thing I love is the file size. The recording still looks super crisp, every bit as sharp as QuickTime, but without the massive file sizes. Here's a cool trick. When I'm recording, I often use the AI teleprompter in Demo Creator. I just upload my script and it scrolls automatically while I'm speaking. Saves me a ton of time and keeps my videos flowing naturally. And for that clean look, there's also a built-in background remover so I can be on screen without any clutter behind me. It's super handy, especially for tutorials, and it works like a charm. But it goes way deeper than just recording. Now, I don't use every feature in Demo Creator, but there is one I know I should be using more often. Check this out. I can just click here, pick a drawing tool and start scribbling right on the screen. They've got all kinds of options, shapes, arrows, circles, text, you name it. With these tools, I could basically turn any screen recording into a full-blown lesson if I wanted to. I mean, think about it. All those teachers out there are still struggling with chalk when they could just grab a mouse or touchpad and start drawing. It's kind of wild. And if you've ever seen our older videos where I highlight text on screen, that used to be done in editing software. Now, I just pick the highlighter tool right in Demo Creator and highlight text on the spot while I'm recording. So easy. And it's even got a whiteboard built in. So if I ever need to explain something visually, I can pop it open and start drawing right there. I'm no teacher, but I can totally see how this would be a game changer for anyone teaching online, especially when running Zoom lessons. Then comes the editing part. And honestly, this is where Demo Creator shines. When I pull the recordings into the timeline, my voice, camera feed, and screen capture are all in separate tracks. I can cut, delete, or tweak each part individually. If I wanna clean up my voice, I can turn on denoising or boost speech clarity. And if I want to take it further, say I just need background noise gun, or maybe I want to strip the vocals from the recording, I just go to the audio effects, drag in the right tool, and let AI do the work. Artificial intelligence in Demo Creator isn't just for basic tweaks. It can even handle music tracks in a pretty awesome way. Say I've got great music track lined up, but I don't want the lyrics. I can upload the whole thing, guitars, drums, synth, vocals, all of it, and let Demo Creator's AI separate out the voice. Then I've got the power to turn the music or lyrics on and off however I want. It's seriously impressive, especially if you're working with a lot of background noise. 
don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. Need to bring out the background noise. Done. Wanted quieter. Also easy. It's like having a noise remover, but with full control. And the voice changer. I just find the voice changer effect, pick the voice I want, and let us do its thing. In seconds, the AI analyzes my audio, generates captions, and adds a voiceover that's perfectly synced to my words. It's got a ton of voices to choose from too, and the quality is legit. Imagine the creativity this brings. You could create different characters or personas for each video. And if I miss something in my recording, where maybe I want it voiced by someone else, I just go into the AI dubbing tool, type in the text, pick a voice, and boom, I've got a new voiceover track. And it's not just any voiceover, the quality is pro level. It even adds the generated audio as a separate track so I can control things like speed balance and volume. I can see this being a game changer for corporate videos, training manuals, or any time I want to mix in different voices. And the feature that really makes tutorials pop, Smart Zoom. It's perfect for guiding the viewer's eye and giving the recording that extra dynamic edge. First, I need to turn it on before recording, and then once I'm in the edit and suite, I can apply it. Here's how it works. In screen and camera mode, you click the magic tool in the recording panel, toggle on Smart Zoom, and then just hit start recording. Once you're done, drag the video to the timeline the editor, and you can apply an automatic zoom animation effect that lets viewers focus on exactly what you're explaining. If you're like me and want more control over zooming and panning, there are custom tools for that too. You can pick from a variety of zooming and panning templates, then drop them right into your video. I use this all the time to emphasize key details, like a button to click or a toggle to switch on. It adds so much visual clarity and keeps the viewer's attention where it needs to be. And I can't leave out cursor effects. These are simple, but make a big difference. They give a little extra visual guide that helps the audience follow along. And I can choose different effects depending on the vibe I want. Compared to other apps I've tried, Demo Creator makes it way easier to get these effects exactly how I want them. And we're only scratching the surface here. Take auto subtitles, for instance. Add in subtitles automatically in the same app saves so much time. And it's super handy for accessibility, plus there are even beauty filters. I mean, I'm cool with how I look in camera, Let's be real, AI knows how to make your face pop, and sometimes it just adds that extra polish. AI object removal, I use it all the time. I mean, just watch how easy this is. I head to the menu on the left, click on video effects, and boom, there is the AI object remover. All I gotta do is highlight the object, hit one button, and voila, gun. No weird artifacts, no signs that the video was even touched, just clean removal. It's honestly kind of mind blowing. Demo Creator nailed this feature, so now I can remove anything from tiny watermarks to bigger objects, and it processes almost instantly. Once the recording is done and I'm happy with all my edits, I can throw in a watermark to keep things branded. Super simple, just upload it and it's automatically slapped onto all the clips. And Demo Creator doesn't stop there. Custom openings, credits, templates, everything you'd want in a full-blown editor right at your fingertips. If you're new to screen recording or just need a solid tool that covers everything, trust me, this is it. Recordings are sharp up to 4K quality, so whether you're capturing lectures or gameplay, Demo Creator has you covered. So hit that link in the description, give it a try, and let me know what you think. Thanks Wondershare for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.